Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series. In this video, we will study the membrane-based desalination technology, the basic concept of seawater reverse osmosis plant. If high and low salinity water sources are separated by a semi-permeable membrane, water will move from the low salinity side to the high salinity side by a natural process called osmosis. The driving force behind this transfer is the osmotic pressure. This pressure is proportional to the difference in total dissolved solids concentrations on each side of the membrane, and is also dependent on the source water temperature and the nature of the dissolved solids. Osmotic pressure is higher the more concentrated a solution is, and water will flow into a more concentrated solution to reduce the osmotic pressure to a level equal to that in the less concentrated solution. The transfer of the solvent, water, but not the solutes, dissolved solids, will continue until the concentrations of the solution on both sides of the membrane are in equilibrium, the osmotic pressures are equal. The flow rate of the water is directly proportional to the concentrations of the two solutions. The osmotic pressure in one solution rises, water leaves and ions become more concentrated, while that in the other decreases. The osmotic pressure can be measured, and the resulting flow of solute from high-low concentration to high can be halted by applying a pressure equal to the osmotic pressure on the side of the more concentrated solution process can be reversed by applying pressure to the saltwater side of the membrane. This is the operating principle behind all row desalination plants. If this external pressure is increased further more than osmosis pressure, the flow of water will be reversed from its natural flowing direction and towards the more dilute solution. The reversing of the flow is the process of reverse osmosis. The spiral wound membrane is the most common type used in the industry today. They are produced in a flat sheet sealed like an envelope and wound in a spiral. SWRO Terminology The following list provides definitions of basic terms used throughout the technology evaluation, feed water, supply water that is fed into the RO unit to be treated, permeate, a portion of the feed water that passes through a series of membranes and is returned as purified water, product, concentrate a portion of the feed water that is rejected by the membrane, brine, water flux, the rate of permeate production typically expressed as the rate of water flow per unit. Thank you for watching this video.